Life hey, Leisure. welcome to Life and Leisure Show. I'm your host, Life Nick Leisure. Leisure. <laughs> <laughs> Alongside my co-host, Anthony V. Yes, yes. Demetrius, a.k.a. The Specialist. Okay. And the Queen of Sax Soul, Carla Fleming. Hello. Shout out to Deep Eddie Vodka, oh. our official drink sponsor <laughs> for the show. Yes. That's what I was... <laughs> We have one international sex symbol today and whoop, one whoop. comedian joining us on tonight's show. What a sex symbol. Lance <laughs> <laughs> and Tony Roberts. Thank you to Hey, make some noise, y'all. Put some glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> which one of y'all is a sex symbol and which one of y'all is a comedian? Which one is sexy to you? So we can beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> y'all Don't look at me and lick your lips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sexy. I already know I'm sexy. <laughs> Nobody want me, though. They want Lance. All the white girls want Lance. <laughs> yo, yo, last when I came uh, two weeks ago, it was a white girl that this seat is just the the she, white girl seat. She left because you you were coming. The hair is still there, okay. right? The yeah, Easter hair, basket hair, grass. Hair, hair, hair is still here. <laughs> <laughs> still all over the seat. Hey, Shara says, "Hey, Tony, what's up? She watching you right now. Who? Shara. Oh yeah, She's watching you right there. See, what's up, girl?" He said he don't want to sleep on the couch this weekend. What's up, baby? <laughs> he don't want to sleep on the couch. Shower strong. <laughs> so you got a little ass I'm house. Strong. And we're going to bring you a curious. What's up with the radio voice? You got your pants on, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see on the tape. I don't, like you got your one sock on Why and a squirrel licking your lap? ankles. Why you sound like you sound lap? comfortable. You sound too comfortable. <laughs> you sound like, oh, yeah. Where are you from, Life Tony? Leisure. Detroit? Ooh. You know I'm from Detroit. Everybody yeah. know. If you don't know me, welcome out your coma, god damn it. <laughs> Everybody knows Tony Roberts from Detroit. Give me some vodka. <laughs> <laughs> it's gluten free too. It's gluten free. So For real, is you it like true you don't repeat gluten. your jokes? I can't. Never. Not if I go back to the city. Well, this weekend uh, we got me and Lance Wills. We got Oakland. Uh, we got the Thanksgiving. Then we got we come to back home to sack. Do Tommy T's. Both Tommy T's back to back. And I'm saying the same shit. I ain't made right nothing. <laughs> 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 you seen my show in the last six months? You gonna see it again? They do the, the artists like that. <laughs> You see, an artist Bruno Mars had the same songs for two years. We go see him in concert, sing the same motherfucking song. <laughs> <laughs> so I, ain't got to, I ain't got to be changing up like, but I do. I don't. So you you have dancers too? You don't repeat your dance? No, nah, I can't dance. I have no dancing. I'm, I'm married. <laughs> My kids. <laughs> now, you know what? <laughs> this, this the deal is, and most comics know this. Uh, you get somebody and go, hey, I thought you was going to do the one about this. Or do this joke. I say, no, I do a next show. And you do it, and them the motherfuckers don't laugh. <laughs> and you feel like shit. Like I'm doing it for you, punk. <laughs> so, but no, I don't. I don't want nobody to see me because every time I put something on TV or one of my hour, one hour specials, you know, I don't see. I don't do the joke live because you, you don't want to see nobody do a one hour special and you pay to go see them and do the same shit. Mm-hmm. People do that. I know. And I'm stressing I got out. Some friends that do that. Make sure I go back to this city. Shout Let us know. We be traveling. <laughs> oh. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, want that smoke, Nick? <laughs> I know, Is this right? thing on? I'm sorry, I know. I still love you. <laughs> Stupid as <laughs> shit. <laughs> what would you do if you saw Ooh. another comedian stealing your jokes? I have plenty of times. Really? I looked it back and said, oh, man. I did it on Comic View. Like, in, 90, in 99. And I see a guy doing it now. I'm like, well, you know, they do their research. They think you go way back and get a joke. Then nobody going to pay attention to it. Hmm. Uh when they had Comic View. Didn't they bring it back like three years ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a young comic started doing, you need your, your head kicked. Yeah. If you're mm-hmm. dissing this, you need your head kicked. And the whole world know I do you need your ass beat. And social media drove his ass in the ground. And he called me, Tony, t- you know what? I didn't even do that. I didn't even mean it. <laughs> it was like a whole different topic. It was, you know, I, but I know the You guy. said McDonald's. I said Burger King. Big Mac, Big Mick. It's different. <laughs> I said the McDowell's. And I felt bad for him. So I didn't, everybody's telling me, what you going to do, Tony? What you, nothing. Nothing. I ain't going to do nothing. Everybody doing it. Everybody doing it. So there ain't no such thing as like it's no, everything under. Laws but think about that. it. Everything under the sun been talked about. So pe- some people get that anal. Like some comics, and I ain't gonna say no name. You know some comics. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about. They come to they come to the guy that's going before them and say, "Hey, don't talk about this or that or that because well, I do." That's crazy. And I didn't even think Eric Spears was like that. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 he so seems like that, though. People. And that's the one. <laughs> You know that story about Aries in Sacramento? So I missed a few of them. So do you do it just to piss them off? No, I don't pay attention. People don't come oh. to me like that. Oh, okay. Don't come to me. How about they, you, Lynn? They, they're back I in had, the day. He, uh, that's one of the comments. I remember one time we was, in, we, was in, uh, we was in the Bay Area, and I had this joke. And I was like, I didn't do this joke because I know 
you have a similar, not even joke, but a similar act out to the joke. And I mm-hmm. said, that's what I knew. He said, nigga, don't ever do that. Like, don't do, never do that. He's like, do all your... He do said, you. I'm going to do me. He said, do you. never know who watching you. Do your best shit. Don't worry about me. Yeah. I'm going to be fine. Do your best shit. Because mine is totally different. Mine's different enough where mine will be funny too. So a good comic, a strong comic, that's secure with themselves, don't give a damn what you do up there. Just don't do exactly what I'm going to do. So, so how do you feel about like uh, uh, comedians? You got some beautiful like hair, dude. Comedians. I know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Your shit like it never mess up, ever, in the shower. I, 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 I woke up like this, bro. Fuck, <laughs> uh, dude. Let, let, let me show you a, a Pantene commercial. Oh, my God. What that is your nationality? Didn't move. You like Mexican and mermaid, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, your hair is beautiful. I wish y'all, did you see the hair? Look at his hair. You can't even see it good. It's Aquaman stunt double. You Aquaman comb your hair babies. with other hair. <laughs> the the oh hair my, babies. The uh, hair what, was, what was your question, though? I appreciate it, man. Oh my God. Mermaid. Wow. Is your dick hair like that? Because I know yeah. women love just, God damn. Hey, hey, you Look fucked everybody up just right now. Back there Look at Carla over here. She want to go over here. Show Carla. Girl, you want to? You want to? I touched his hair. I touched his hair. What you about to say, dude? <laughs> it's hard to follow that up, dude. He got, dimp- he got dimples, too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> beautiful hair. Why you got to say my dimples? Why you got to say my shit? Hey, you about to be on board in the middle. You got to be. He gonna leave this, here pregnant. You gonna be the sexiest <laughs> nearsighted nigga on board of the He gonna to be a bald and beautiful. I can't really see these bitches, bro. I'm hot. Put your glasses on. Like Libra, they gonna be your name on board of the They gotta give you a nigga a black name. They can't give you no. What's your name again? What's your name? Yeah. Anthony, bro. <laughs> That's your name? Yeah. You try to make it sound deep. Anthony, bro. Anthony, Anthony right? Anthony. I, I got I, after the mermaid Anthony. comment. Anthony, what's up? <laughs> That's my name. Your name, Anthony? Look okay, you're down. You dope. Yeah, you, dope. Oh. you dope. You dope. You dope. You do guys beautiful Anthony. hair. What you about to say? <laughs> I was going to say, how do you feel about other comedians like uh, uh, stealing wardrobe ideas? You know what I'm saying? Like leathers. <laughs> like red leather? Something like red leather. <laughs> tight, tight as fucking the nuts. Tell me I did. Uh, I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Got him. Everybody like that better than the set. <laughs> They're like, that red leather. I said, what about the jokes? Yeah, that, that was cool. But that red leather shit. And I couldn't stand it. Nigga. My nose was about to bleed in that damn. You know what? But Eddie had the real expensive leather and it was really you know but my shit was like the leather be on the car seat yeah. <laughs> that you could, made out of car seat it, it my, shit, <laughs> my shit was so tight and so crinkly it wouldn't even be in my wife had to put my shoes on and they picked me up like a like a like an ironing board <laughs> and, he, and then the good thing I didn't fall on stage cause I would've been bad that shit looked bad. like it was made out of 100% fruit roller <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looked that's what it felt like the kids went trick or treat and you just push your arm out and tell them take a, take a sleeve. They said the 90s is coming back. If you take the coffin lining out of a coffin and then right behind that oh. was that suit. That material. Wow. To keep the dead body stiff. So, Fresh. So the, so the worms don't get to it. <laughs> Son, did you know wow. they had caskets at Costco's? Yeah, I did. What? I saw, I saw that. Caskets, people. Eight hundred dollars quality. Damn. See, that's a There's garbage. no more going to the funeral home picking out a five thousand dollar casket for your grandmama. She's taking a dirt nap in the Costco's joint. That, that's yeah. a bargain. No, let me tell you. Is, yeah, is it mean though? And this you, the kicker. You must say, tell him the kicker, Tom. What's the thing? What? I don't know the kicker. You, you must say, the asking. <laughs> but this what's is the, the kicker. But this <laughs> the kicker. The tell kicker? him the kicker, Tom. Three year warranty. What? <laughs> 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 Get a warranty on a casket. Who's going to dig their uncle up in two years and say, this is me leaking. <laughs> I want my shit back. <laughs> let, let me ask a question. I even got a membership. Wow. <laughs> how you feel about the no camera rule with all this energy and all, how you feel about the no camera rule of certain comedians apply to their Kevin shows? Hart, Chris Rock. Oh, not the- Ali Wong, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I wouldn't, if I, no, I won't, I don't want to, no, I'm shooting my fourth hour, one hour special. And Lance's 30 minute special, Valentine's Night, Arizona. Okay. Uh, I got I to gotta, I gotta want... go get ready. Yeah, I see you gotta... Yeah, you got to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> now? <laughs> but uh, I, don't, I don't like it. Even we at the punchline. I don't want nobody to hold the phone. I let somebody go up and they'll try to film a little bit. Then they put the phone out saying that. Do that. So comedians hate that shit. Yeah. yeah. Because you're you, you about to, they about to put that online. You're about to go to another city with that joke. 
And mm-hmm. and and at a, a lot a live comedy show, it's like intimate. Yeah. So it's like I won't and it's just certain stuff I don't want everybody to see. Like it could just be for us in the room. I might get a feel in the room that I could say stuff that I wouldn't say in front right, of right. thousands of people. Right. But these cool evil people I could say in front of y'all because we all do <laughs> shit together. <laughs> That's true. If you didn't pay if you didn't pay, you don't see it. Yeah. If you just pay to get in and see it. That's what I believe. I don't like nobody filming and I've had to stop my show plenty of times. So I hear this he won't stop filming. They can rush right over there. Right. When you're on stage to keep you going, they will rush and throw somebody out at a heartbeat. And like even I don't even like it at con they don't, nobody stop at at concerts, but people go to the concert <clears throat> and they'll film the whole concert. Right. And it's like you paid too much money to stand there like this. Mm-hmm. I took my girl to the Beyonce concert on Snapchat. We sat in the living room. I said, look, watch. <laughs> Just watch. <laughs> I watched my head in the living room. Cheaper. Right. For free. Right. Cheaper. 15 oh. seconds And that person time. had good seats. Yeah. <laughs> All right Front seats. Row. Yeah. I said, you want some drinks? We go in the kitchen. <laughs> All <laughs> the no, there, there, are some, there are some musicians like that. Layla Hathaway doesn't allow cameras at her show either. She, she shut shit down. Yeah, huh? she will. She's not happy. Some people can't control, though. Some people just can't catch everybody. Yeah. And okay. people, don't, people don't sell it. People what if somebody people posted don't. something and, and it went viral and it was yours? Mm. Nah, pff, they did when I got on the Pelicans court. <laughs> Last <laughs> January. Did you see me on the Pelicans court? No. Yeah, I explained this one. Oh, you never seen explain it? it. I, I pulled it, it up. 40 million, vo- 40 million views. I broke the internet. Pull up Pelican fan. Me and DeMarcus Cousins, you know, we oh, do a show every year. Yeah. So we did when he, we did it in here. Then when he went to the Pelicans, New Orleans. I remember that. I went down there. The night before the show, we was at the game. I'm on the floor. A week before that, he sent me a whole lot of NBA apparel. I had the same warm up they wearing. <laughs> they went out for halftime. After to come back on the court, I said, "I got the same shit they got on." So I told my, I told Red Grant, <laughs> I said, "You know what? Let me see how far I can get." I high needed it all the way to the score table. Came back, and everybody say shit. <laughs> so then I started to get I in the game. warming up with them, kicking it with them. Nigga, I got the ball. <laughs> Rondo gave me the ball. I'm like, what? <laughs> Rondo. I couldn't feel my teeth. My knee went out. I was so nervous. I just shot the ball. What? There I am right there. <laughs> that shit broke the internet. I had the game, the, the jump. I had every Another ESPN channel. That's 40 million. That's just 4,200. You went wasting no, the pound. No, you, you ain't. You got, I ain't got that. Yeah. No, let me it tell was, you. It was on, I I it was on, on Golf on. Digest. I don't know how it was doing on there. Your body. Oh, they I pulled you yeah. off. <laughs> but look oh, at the stress. He's at you. You get yelled at by the But that's just the key. I didn't get kicked out. Yeah, he, he, he went like this to you. What the sick But what do you want me Start of March? Nigga, there ain't no money. I ain't had no business out there. I won. You're winning. You know what I'm saying? You can see the shot. <laughs> see, you, you took a Fuck shot your again. hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Anthony, you good. We, we Anthony. We got to stick together. I ain't got no hair at all. I'm me and my man. We the same. We got the same bar. The Lord. Yeah. The Lord. The Lord. <laughs> Carlin wanted me to ask you a question. Oh, she, God. Why well, Carla can't ask me? Because she's scared. my time. God damn it. What she you doing? scared. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to know what your secret is of staying relevant. You know what? I'm I'm gonna get it from Lance. You Lance. asking me what your secret is to stay relevant? <laughs> no, Lance be telling me you gotta do more of this and more. Of oh, that. oh, okay. you're old school. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm so old school. This, this is this is this is what I say. Um, he's comics' favorite comic. Yeah. So when you talk to comics, who's your favorite comic? His name come up. I seen. I watched the interview with Jamie Fox. Who's your favorite comedian? Uh-huh. Tony Roberts. I watched Russell Simmons Russell, yeah. say. Uh, Niggas didn't choose Key and Peele. Niggas chose Tony Roberts. Mm. And yeah, then, I remember this, that interview. And this is just, and then this is just me having conversations with comics. They say Tony Roberts, Tony Roberts, Tony Roberts. Tiffany Haddish, they just asked oh, her. Yeah. And she just said, "What's your top four comics?" It was yeah. Dave Chappelle, and I was next, and then yeah. she said Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, but it so you got you got like a unique style that's so original, and comics be looking at you like, "How the fuck is he doing that?" You know what they wonder? A lot of people wonder. Doing this 20, 24 years, 23, 24 years. But I'm on stage like I've been doing it five years. Yeah. I'm gonna say I give it, I give it 110%. And I don't yeah. know why. I just I can't do it no other way. Yeah. I try like James Brown. Yeah. You didn't see him 
Slow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. you. That nigga, that nigga skated yeah, right into a casket. <laughs> <laughs> he slid. Ow, oh, watch. It. Oh, shit. He's still there. <laughs> yeah. I got so. And I'm super dead. <laughs> you still go out there energized. But the thing about it is, I paint the picture. I paint the, when I first started, I held the mic on the stand. Like, um, I was more calm than Marcus Mann. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Mango. He's a young comic here in Sacramento. He works with us. Oh, this is an inside joke right now. You fucking tell, somebody up tell right him, now. Tell huh? him, tell go ahead, Lance. Go ahead, Lance. Talk about it. <laughs> Give me the story real quick. Thing. Talk about it, Lance. <laughs> so but hold on. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. So, so, so look, his name is Marcus Mangum. So we're doing a show, and uh, my man B.T. Kingsley's hosting. <laughs> I got a show. B.T. Kingsley's hosting it. So Marcus is coming to the stage. I tell B.T. his name. And BT forgets how to say his last name. Same Ooh. happened to me. So and Tommy T. <laughs> so what BT does is just says, "Hey, come into the stage," and he understands as long as he starts talking loud and get people clapping and stuff, they won't hear what he's saying. So like, everybody makes noise. Give us young dudes very funny. Put your hands together. Give it up for Marcus Man. <laughs> <laughs> so when yeah. I was at Tommy T's, I just met the guy. Gave him some minutes on stage, and this guy told me, "It's Mike." I said, "I can't. Put, I can't say that." Shit. He said, "Look." BT did this. <laughs> so now, even my whole family, when they say his name, my kids, my wife, they go, what about Marcus, man? <laughs> so we, we didn't never say his last name. But I was slower. Like I was on stage. The mic on the mic stand couldn't move. One day I watched El- Afros and Bell Bottoms. Um, Sinbad. Sinbad's One Hour Special. Which one? Afros, Afros, Afros and Bell Bottoms. Bottom. Okay, that shit was good. Took off. Everything. I've been throwing chairs, breaking shit, everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so, you know, and the thing about him, a lot of comics that are that fast or that have that level of energy aren't as clever. They they just try to get off on having the energy. But if you actually listen, like he just told you you was mixed with Mexican and mermaid. You know what I mean? That's like geez. next level. Well, I know you're talking about they go with buffoonery. Yeah. That's you're flipping saying. around the shit and you don't get to laugh, you're on the ground. You got to get up and wipe your clothes off. That's the longest get up <laughs> in the world. <laughs> you do, I did a joke like that before and shit didn't work and I was on the ground with the stool and I had to get up like an asshole. <laughs> and wasn't nobody laughing. <laughs> and they giggled. I'm like, that wasn't even worth it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's the rope? <laughs> I hang myself in public. How you feel, how you feel about, um, let's say, stand-up comics versus Instagram social media comics? That's just the era. Let them have it. Let them have Let it. Let them have it. But when they get on stage, it, it, res- it don't resonate. And believe me, it's happening all the time. For this year alone, I've had 11, 12 concerts with them. And when they get on stage, we can just let it just just let it happen. It's quiet. It's this room right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Or Sometimes drink, they so. get a couple of laughs and they just, just enough to survive. But see, this is what followers. Followers don't want don't care if you're funny. They just want they just want to take a picture. So they'll sit through anything. Cause they you're in front of them. Fans. They, you better get busy, or you're gonna get booed or something thrown at you. But you know, fans don't get fucked. You, they won't come back. But followers yeah. don't care. So let them have their thing. They, they get their thing. You know, they're doing their followers and everything. Would it be? It would and they're cool guys. And they come to me as an OG and they want to ask for advice. I said, I'm gonna show you. I can't explain to you. I'm gonna show you. I go out there and right behind them and just do my thing, come back. And they right at the curtain. Like, oh, wow. Do, yeah. Does society make it hard for a comedian nowadays to. To to damn, I got to hold back, or I'm finna go all in. No, no, I never, I never looked at it like that. I pretty much don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, like, like, like me so, too. Movements. So cleverly, I go. I, don't, I never seen that. <laughs> oh, you <yeah. laughs> do you believe? <laughs> Do you believe in barking horses? Not, not in my day. I, never, <laughs> I don't tell you talking about. No, no, like me too. Movement people like are, are much more sensitive now versus like Richard Pryor got off with a lot of shit. Oh, no. That's I believe, what I'm I believe anything you say, anything funny, say it. I seen a guy in a wheelchair. I go, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Don't get up. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, if you can't laugh at that, you're in the wrong building. <laughs> you're in the wrong building. I did a joke. Uh, I did a joke. We did a comic view in uh, New Orleans two weeks, two and a half weeks before Katrina hit. We did a comic. That's the last time they taped down there. I'm on stage. I go, hey, I'm from Detroit, home of Rosa Parks. I pioneer. Everybody clapping and, you know, this. Black thing. I said, yeah, I met her uh, like a two, couple of months ago. She was getting old. She wrote a book called What Bus? Right? Uh, <laughs> let me tell you this. <laughs> so 40, about six, 50, maybe 60 days later, 50 days. It wasn't even 50 days later. She died. Oh. And I'm like, ah, okay. This shit's about the air. But you know, 
Because then it'd be too soon. They got to cut that out. You know what I'm saying? Fuck if they did. <laughs> oh, wow. I was in my, I was just looking at looking at it. I'm like, this is coming. They're going to they cut it out, cut it out. Hey, Rosa Parks, soon I said it, I just cut TV off. <laughs> <laughs> I cut TV off. Everybody was laughing. Some people wasn't. They know what to do, you know, but it was, it, it's like one of them trickling, growing laughs. Like, grow up. Fuck, it's comedy. <laughs> and then I got like a hundred calls. Like, God. not no, we after you shit. It's like, what was you thinking? I just, she was alive when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> she was breathing, eating. <laughs> Riding buses. She's riding buses. <laughs> riding buses. You got kids, Tony? <laughs> House full. <laughs> you don't know me? Do your kids think I'm so funny? happy to be here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> do they think you're funny? Uh, do, they like, do they think you're funny? Nah, like, Dad, nah, not no, really. Yeah. Nah, they go to, to my shows. Jokes? My kids go to school all year round here. Uh, they got that, that program. You know, the, some school systems do that here. Most of them. Mm-hmm. So they on track. So they on two months, off a month, all year round. So when they off, and my wife, my wife's my role manager. So... Uh, we we'll take them on the road with us, and I put them to work. They go in the green room. I let them know, hey, I go tell the guy you need to get when the guy I need this drink. Get my luggage, take my shirt, take uh, this, and I have them go down in the, in the lobby, get shit for me in the hotel. They work for me. There you go. And they they want to. What do you want me to do now? You know. But then, like when uh, I did Mr. Box Office with me, Bill Bellamy, and them, with um, Alex Thomas. We did the sitcom. We did like 40 episodes of that. That's still on CW. And then me and Mike Epps did Uncle Buck. Yeah. But every time I'm on TV, my, my wife said, come on, y'all, kids. Dad on TV. They said, it's just dad. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, they don't really get too much shit for Christmas too much now. <laughs> Not, it's just dad. <laughs> like my family Detroit, man. I, I'm from the D. And my family is hood. And I can't be famous with them. No matter what. No. My, no. I mean, I first started comedy. I quit my job. I was a I was an LP and a nurse. I quit my job. Poor shit. At the table with my sisters and my mom, and they said, uh, "So Tony, I heard you quit your job." My mom Ooh. said it. They somebody told her that. You know, my mother old school. You don't quit no job. Mm-hmm. She said, "What you doing now?" My sister say, "He a clown." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said, "Ain't no clown. I'm a comedian." <laughs> oh, I want to make up my mom kept saying my mother tough my mother hard I ain't no clown mom he took his red nose off to get some respect <laughs> cause I got six sisters and I'm the boy only? yeah only? and I'm talking oh. about the youngest and I'm telling oh. you and I'm telling you my mother's like baby you're gonna be something and she's like, going in my ass ain't no pinching plan and no comp she call it the comedian you doing that comedian ain't no pinching plan you need them, something to lean back on I said going for it mama and now they ask for tickets. There you go. <laughs> but I'm telling you, when I do a show in Detroit, you buy a I house. need 25 tickets. The promoter already know that. Don't even book me unless you got 25 tickets because my, my family get to at the door and fucking act a fool. <laughs> so they know. <laughs> Tony on stage, tell him to come here now. <laughs> like, I got to stop the show and go to the door. I'm telling you, play, dude. They'll be right at the table with you. In Detroit. Eating, right today. They gonna be having my shit on the wall right today, and and they ain't even on the flyer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> so I could be at the dinner with my with my mom and them. They go, can you pass the potatoes, Mister HBO? Is that too much for you, Mister Concert Haver? <laughs> I go, yeah. What's fucking with me like that? <laughs> I tell you, I think I'm hard. I'm a drill sergeant. I'm hard, but my family is shit. What? That's a nickname, ain't it? Drill the sergeant, sergeant? Sergeant Comedian, right? I did yeah. 10 years in the Army before I did comedy. And did you use the box, too? Is that true? Who? You was a fighter? No? No, no. That's, that's, they just people that's to see me, I train. I mean, I ain't oh. getting in the ring with nobody. No? <laughs> okay. Carla wanted to ask you about your other nickname. The Motor City. Oh, yeah. Because there's another um, Motown Motor Mouth. It ain't, motor, it ain't the Motor Mouth. Like motor Man- Mouth Maybell? I don't know. I don't you know don't that know what that is? Okay. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I told her. you. From Carla. Hairspray? He, he ain't never read that book. Okay, moving on. We'd be on the road, and my wife, she does everything for me across the board. Then you go to my agent, and you get, she cut the deal, then my wife makes sure everything on the road is straight. And before we get there. But sometimes she be stepping over her boundaries, you know what I'm saying? She want to say shit and do shit. I go, you ain't even on the flyer. <laughs> <laughs> and so now it's, it became a habit. <laughs> Lance be out there with us. <laughs> she be so, yeah, I need to do this. We need to do that. I mean, you ain't on the flyer. <laughs> they, they want me. <laughs> My wife don't give a fuck. She be right in front of me, walking the door before I do. 
whatever. You ain't got no kids, Lance, do you? Pull out game on fleek. I'm telling you. <laughs> He got kids, bro. Yeah, got take no that back. Either, huh? no, hey, you got kids? Mermaid. Well, see, it's, it's like you know, you gotta train for that shit. So now my pullout games on fleek. I fucked up twice. <laughs> I'm ready? You got two kids? Yeah. How old are they? Oh man, three and two. Oh, you good? You got yeah. some brand new kids. Yeah, I got, I got some brand new. Yeah. It's under warranty. Yeah, <laughs> there's like them caskets. You gonna take Costco. them back? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm past that. You know what I'm saying? Ninety days. What the hair look like? Like mine. Yeah, they, they got lighter the, though. A lot, like yeah, it's, it's like a dirty, you know. dirty blonde like this with like blue eyes and yeah, don't look nothing and dimples. Like you actually, no, no they, Uh-oh. yeah, they don't. You <laughs> might want to get a dad. Oh, oh shit, on that, get your phone. Man. Damn, you make see that? Phone. My bad. Hey, 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 hair, hey shut up, shut up. To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> shut up, <laughs> deep Eddie on that one. <laughs> I know, deep. <laughs> shut up, deep Eddie. Come on, kids. Let Lance ain't got no kids. You talking about kids? You gonna be flustered? He don't wear condoms, kids. Girls make him wear cardboard. Got that. <laughs> I ain't taking no chances, nigga. <laughs> they don't want his baby. Lance is so into him. He ain't fucking with no. They, they don't want Tachilla, baby. <laughs> My name is Tachilla. Lance don't want no Wakanda. kids. <laughs> I love kids, man. But God damn. I want, I want some kids. I, man, it's hard for me to find. You'd be a good dad, though. I You'd be a so dope too. dad. I just. I, I, I think I'd be a good dad. I don't know how I would be as a. Uh, what you call it? Uh, a husband. Yeah, that. Mm. Mm. That's the, that's, no <laughs> that is the hard part. Yeah, but oh, you, you can have kids um. without that shit. You never had <laughs> <ever laughs> <had> no <laughs> 2018, Lance. Yeah, oh, wait, bro, you I fired jump where I jump. <laughs> nah, nah, but I, you know, but that's what I would want to I would want to do with the I would want to have a wife and kids. You're gonna have a white girl, uh that's baby I, mama. I can't see it. Your kids gonna have I can't good see hair it. and nappy eyelashes. Or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> They gonna be blinking. The blinks gonna get stuck. You gotta put some just for me, just for me on their eyes before they go to school. The teacher thought I was asleep. I couldn't open my eyes. They got tangled. My eyelashes. I told that teacher. Oh shit. <laughs> Lance, you feel like it'd be hard for you to discipline your kids, being that you're such a fun guy. Nah. Or would you be ready to put the smack down? Nah, because I think it's different ways of discipline. I, I think, P, I think we just got. Uh, People in general, we just not good at communication. So once you figure out how to communicate with people, discipline is not hard. Fuck that. I would thump a kid. I thump my son in his goddamn tooth. I go smile, <laughs> smile, <laughs> <laughs> bam, right in his front tooth, and that shit hurt. That shit go right to your temples, <laughs> nigga. I bit my tongue on the way here, nigga. I could not stop passing gas. I could feel, I could feel the back of my head. What? And I had a tear come out just one of my eyes. What? You don't bite your tongue, your life stopped for three seconds. It stops. That's the worst fucking feeling. If you bite, woo! Anybody bit their tongue? I was gonna bite that bit hard, and you open your mouth like you don't want nothing to touch it, and it's like it's throbbing. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with your butt function? I don't know. Your kids. A lot of shit make you fart, Carla. You know that. <laughs> Slam your hand in the door. You pee on yourself instantly. <laughs> do some. Let some. Your body function release. Let some pain happen. <laughs> let some pain happen. <laughs> what? Is that, is that like a comedian thing? Because he said his wife was his manager, right? And you said your girlfriend was your manager before. At one, I said she played a manager role when I first first started. Oh, I just okay. think it's hard, it's just easier to have people. If you're gonna be around, we gotta put you to work. No, my wife the bad guy. My, they call my wife and she will know. Would you tell him this? Tell him that. Well, first she'll do it. First she'll turn him down instantly. No, and she just don't give a shit. <laughs> and then, they, when they, then sometimes we, when we land and the promoter come get us, they go, they look on my shoulder. Is, is your wife here? They hoping that she don't come because <laughs> she is, she mean. They go, hey, did your wife? Oh, hey, hi. And she put the face with the voice and looking, showing me smiling or nothing. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I brought my fucking parent to school and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like. Bring your parent to school. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Damn it, Miss Miss. What's the best job you ever had? And you can't say a blowjob or being a comedian. A nurse. Nurse. Oh. I was a nursing assistant, taking care of the elderly, and uh, and my two of my sisters are nurses, and they gave me like the back door hookup, <laughs> the hookup <laughs> exam. Healed. I said, I'm tired of changing diapers and doing hair and, and trying to make the old people laugh and shit and getting them dressed and ba- you know I, I want to do some simple shit like you. 
Like the girl over there, one of the nurses, the LPN. I said, yeah. So now I took the test. I became an LPN. I was doing pills. And and nurses, other nurses, like I was in that bitch. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was fucking off. So you actually went to school? I had, I had to go. No, I took a test behind the scenes and shit. Oh, okay. LPN, you just take a test, a quick qualification test. The nurse, you gotta go to college for that. Mm. And I was, I made it to the thirteenth grade. Well, <laughs> twelve and three quarters. <laughs> twelve and three quarters. <laughs> It was so, I, I graduated, it was so near, it was just near, I'm skinning my, when they closed the door, my shirt got caught in the door. That's how close. <laughs> <laughs> all my sisters went to Michigan State and my little went to college. Ooh. My mother, no, nah, baby. It ain't gonna he happen. graduated like this. <laughs> Tom Williams, and that concludes, oh, no. <laughs> and Tony no, Roberts. When they called Tom Williams, we both went up there and got the same diploma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me hold. Let my mama take a picture. Now, take a, let your mama take a picture. <laughs> why they call? Why you going there with him? No, mama, it's the same. We was the same class. It's us. <laughs> the same thing. Where your gown at? This bathrobe is perfectly fine. <laughs> they say you can wear anything. I'm just trying to be different. So you've been in the game what? 26 years? You said something like that. 24. 24. Comedy. Yeah, 24 years. Huh. What was the first? Was it 24? Detroit? Yeah. Yeah, we grew up in Detroit. You got to go the hole in the wall, the hard shit. I mean, with, they weren't even listening. I'm talking about now, it's hard to find a room that ain't nobody listening, a tough-ass room. Yeah. We had rooms, dude. We paid our dues. We was got fucking... One time I did a show in New York, and I was a headliner, and I actually had no business headliner. It was like one of the Jamaican spots. Oh. And then, are you Jamaican, brother? Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and these motherfuckers got the tension span of a sandwich. <laughs> right? And they, <laughs> and they was just smoking weed and shit. And we up there talking. Everybody got just booed off. Everybody. So I got up there and I had the energy. And it lasted for like three minutes, four minutes. I got like five jokes in. And then I guess he was a drug lord or something. Some Jamaican dude with a table full of people said, This is bullshit. Bring on the real comedians. I said, excuse me, sir, I am the real comedian. And he stood up, and I just dropped the mic. And got the mic. <laughs> <laughs> and his hair was still out the door. He had that long, no dress long, but this motherfucker had Rapunzel shit. <laughs> yeah, VIP rope coming from his head. <laughs> <laughs> I did a New Year's Eve show in Gary, Indiana, and I was on stage. It was theater shit. And uh, seven guys came up late, and then they had the girls from. I said, man, I'm going to get y'all a watch. I mean, y'all, blah, blah, blah. And then I started doing my show. Two of them just started going in on me. And oh. I was like, what? What? And this is what I love to do this. That's what I do. Bring it. Bam! I hit two guys that wasn't talking. I hit the whole road. Just oh. I'm going to fuck with the girls, though. I just, <laughs> Stand up, let them see this bullshit you got on. Blah, blah, blah. You know they make them shoes in new and all this kind of shit. Just go on. <laughs> in new. And then three of them left. And security came and got me off stage. They oh. said, you can't be here when they come back. Cause we know them, so we, and we gotta change your hotel <laughs> oh, and your I social. Said, I said, "You serious? I thought that was all fun. I thought that was, I was winning." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that who's outside? <laughs> and so, two years later, I ran to him in a show in Chicago, or doing a, a smaller oh, room, and they said, "Hey, man, remember us?" I said, "No," because it was kind of dark. I said, "No, do I know you? You know what? What's up?" And he said, "We was at this. We was in the front row of the show." A couple of years ago, that New Year's Eve, you snapped on us and blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, yeah. Damn, fuck yeah. <laughs> the guys put me on stage said y'all was coming back. I said, no, yeah, we wanted to get some fucking drinks. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, you was on. You was on, dude. <laughs> and then, you know, they bought me. I didn't drink. You know, I don't drink. So they bought me, you know, some shit. And I bought them some drinks and we kicked it. And fucked around went to the... The uh, Denny's and shit with them. These niggas about, they're the ones I thought about to kill me. <laughs> it could have been friends that night. <laughs> you know, I didn't get to get with no bitches or nothing. Because yeah. I'm in, in with this protection program <laughs> of a misunderstanding. You missed out on a grand slam. Huh? You had to get, wait for two years to get that Denny's. But they were, they were thugs, though. They were thugs. Yeah, yeah. Have you had a, ever had a problem with like somebody in the audience? Yeah, nigga came up on stage with me. Really? Yeah, so you gotta do pick the mic stand up, the bass, and spear that nigga. <laughs> yeah. Don't let nobody make it to the stage. <laughs> Ain't no that swell up and man to man right here on the No nigga. Soon you start you coming up, you start unscrewing the thing or just take the bass and 
bam, knock his ass <laughs> right in the face <laughs> on the, and whatever you can do and, and just stand there and just. But usually, this is what they used to do back in the day. And now I don't see them do it no more. They might. We'll be on, somebody be on stage, one of the comics. We had this happen a few times. A couple of guys run on stage on the comics. Mm hmm. Four or five comics run on stage also, and it's a standoff. We never let a comic get jumped on, especially in Detroit or Chicago, something like that. Ain't nobody know it's gonna because we like, like me and Lance, Carl, we we're different people. We're not we're not with society. We call y'all the citizens. We're cartoons. I told a lady told me we were cartoons. They said we well, don't. Your you, sister told you you a clown. <laughs> that bitch ain't even on the flyer. <laughs> She's never been on the flyer. But the lady said y'all cartoons because we've been through. You go through comics. We go through so much shit, yeah. and it, we just walk through, walk through, and keep. We just can't be stopped. So anybody, can't nobody do it. An average person in this room can't go through the shit. I have to say I've been through, and still walking, still going through it. Fucking. Disappointments, door shut, yeah. heartbreak, <laughs> fucking you ain't gonna make it, you ain't gonna do it, do it, no, 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 Chlamydia. <laughs> That's, That's a long time ago. That's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> but then they got the goods. They had some road stories. I got some road stories. Road. Talking about some... How did you and Lance connect? On shows or what? No, I met him uh First time I met you was at Tommy T's. Tommy T's. It was at Tommy T's doing a show. Yeah. And then uh I told the nigga with the lisp. <laughs> <laughs> Who put him on the show? Because <laughs> I wasn't on the fly. I the fly. <laughs> <laughs> and let the young guy go up. Wow, go ahead. Fuck it. And was then, it the competition? Nah, when I met you, what was that just, competition was? You was just doing a show, and I just went up there to meet you. That was it. I, just, I was a fan. I told you, first time I heard you was on Styles P album. Oh, yeah, I winged that shit. That yeah. was dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are the real niggas at who got on Tim's and tuxedos? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Bring it. I'm, I got the all shit. I got the thug. I got the beanie with the scully with the beanie and the oh, do-rag. Yeah. And the... Nigga, I was, I was just winging that shit. And then, and he then, told me, just go in there and do it. And then uh, you hit me out the blue because uh, Lil Tony was in town. He was trying to get some stage yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. that's when I was running the show at the Stone Yeah. Man. The Stony Inn. I asked him that Damn. too. I asked him, how was the dude? He cool? Ooh. Oh, it was cool, man. Oh, yeah. And my son, he talks so much. He just all in one breath. And so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where you get that you from? You said you was only doing comedy for like seven years. It is. Yeah, seven years. The Stony Inn yeah. is like. That's back in the Nutty day. Nutty North Nutty Monday Nutty yeah, Monday is what? What's the Stony Inn? What's that? Used to pull up at that. You come to El Paso. Yeah, oh, El Paso. Paso. Oh, oh yeah. I came with Tony. Oh, yeah, you yeah. came the second because Big Boy was hosting, but he wasn't there that day. Wasn't there, yeah. Yep. He and got that, lesbian hips. You know Tristan, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know Tristan. That nigga got oh, <laughs> the same hips oh, from set yeah. it off, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> With no shoulders? <laughs> he got no shoulders. Dude, we feel stomach is the new titty. The music, the video. <laughs> That's my new song. I got six new songs out. They dope. Stomach is the new titty. We shot the video and we had a girl. We had Tristan hold on to a boxing bag and the girl was punching his meat on his sides. <laughs> And it was just like a wave of pork. <laughs> she just hit him. I'm like, God, that looks so fucking strange. Because the, the fat would go up. It would trickle like a wave under his underarm and disappear under the underarm. Like it's hiding. It was crazy as shit. <laughs> Shout out to Trissy. Shout out to Trissy. Shout out to Trissy. Two's up. Oh my Dude, God. I got a. Uh, so we're shooting five more videos. Me and Lance, that's my right hand. So we got we to shoot these videos, man. And we got to go on tour and debut the, the, the album. But that thing is the comedy with the videos. Every, we, do like, we do like 10 minutes of comedy. But, and then each, each, each set pertains to the next video you're about to see. So we got Ooh. Stomach is the New Titty. We got, <laughs> we got the Bad Breath song Booty Mouth, which is. <laughs> Of, if you know who I'm, if you don't know about bad breath, it's your, it's your <laughs> shit. I see it. It's going in. Trend. Oh yeah, we got. You need an Altoid IV, a Nystarine shake, a Febreze mouthpiece, or a right guard cake. The cologne on your throat. Put a jacket on your tongue. Put your teeth in the cleaners. You got booty mouth, son. <laughs> That's the chorus. Think, where you, where you hear the song, son? Oh, shit. You got to get Carla on that album. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Oh, you know what? I got a song oh. called The Gummy Bear. I was with a chick one night. Couldn't get it up all the way. So it's a love song. I sing it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I sit on the oh. bed with this chick trying to explain why I couldn't do it. I'm going to get a stripper to do it. And she's going to be like, 
half naked. And I'm being my boxer truck like, this ain't me, bitch. I'm a th- <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't never happened. I'm a thoroughbred, not a loaf of bread, bitch. I, <laughs> but I started explaining why I can't do it different ways while the music going and shit. I did not say I'm going to blow your back out. I said, no addition is coming back out. I just say nothing. <laughs> you can probably play the girl. I'm not a stripper. Okay. She ain't got a strip. Thing, $40. It's $40. $40 dollars is $40. $40. $40, dollars. $40, dollars. $40, dollars. $40, dollars. $40 dollars make anybody a hoe. Yeah, $40 you can be a hoe for $40. $40. How much your phone bill? <laughs> I can pay your phone bill. I use some. Uh, I got a Costco's card. Hey, I can get fucking buried. I can get, get some ramen, my cup, some, my some top ramen, and a bunch of toilet paper. But I can't pay for no casket. And a casket. You can't do that. I gotta do it on that way. You go hey, is it rude? Can you go? You, uh, you can't put a casket on that way. This is it really rude? hood. If you buy somebody a casket ahead of time, I think so. I think it's bad karma. Dude. But what's the difference with buying? If you bought me a casket, <laughs> I wouldn't eat shit you cook. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> you buy me a casket, I'm, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> it's on sale. It's on sale. Like so what you saying? So you know. What if you won one, like in a contest? You know what? Contest? If I had a casket, I sell. I go to buy a funeral home, and when people come out, I go, "Hey, <laughs> what are you talking about in there? <laughs> Half that right now." <laughs> Cash, cash Girl, I be cast. How right tall now. is your, your uncle? How tall is your aunt? Cut her ankles off. Fuck it. It's two years still <laughs> left on this one. It's two years. One, we got fruit roll up on the inside of this casket. What is it at? It, it's lightly used. Wow. If you and Lance were going to start a 90s R&B group, what would you call it? Before and after 8.30? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right before eight thirty. Then got after straight after eight thirty. Our complexion. <laughs> it's daylight savings. They get it's dark daylight. at two in the afternoon now. Yeah, that's stupid as shit, right? <laughs> he said daylight savings. It could be midnight and Maury is on. That's funny as shit. Y'all look out for my next one hour special, man. And uh my fourth one and the the video, the songs. The songs got to come out. Damn, I got what's up my phone. What's y'all can plug this shit in? You can get down. Y'all got, y'all got a lot of shit in here, but no speakers. <laughs> you got speakers? We got speakers. This we room, got I ain't speakers. never seen a room so crowded. Look at this. And it's so, it's like, like one of them ESPN. Like an ESPN. We like, got all the shit in the. Da, da, da. Y'all seen that Lickster app? What you think about that? Lickster? Yeah. What's the Lickster app? It's right here. Is that you? No, that ain't you. No, no. What's that nigga doing? <laughs> <laughs> the Lickster app. The energy is electric. You made it back to her bedroom, and it's now the moment of truth. But are you ready? With Blixter, you will be. Blixter. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? Now, what does that do? <laughs> it's showing you what, where to go? 25% of women orgasm from intercourse. And like it or not, your dick will never compare to a good lick. <laughs> Simply glide your tongue along Blixter's dynamic interface. Oh, what the... F- <laughs> Wait a minute. Is she supposed to feel that? <laughs> Like oh, just practice it. If you need to practice that, you don't need to be with no chick. <laughs> what are you, nine? <laughs> like, you don't know how to, you don't know how to do that. <laughs> you got to get this one. You got to roast them. The rhythm of your tongue against your clitoral head, against your clitoral cluster, and the support of your hands under the buttocks. Here, look at ass. A man's ass. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> But who don't know how to eat? Go down on her like stupid. But who don't know how to do that? I think it's a joke that they put up. A, you can download the app right now and, and Google Play. I'm just I don't see think it, you see can. If it come up. I don't think Get you it can. come up. That's I tell young real. boys when you start doing it, don't stare at it because it'll move. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll never fucking eat it then. If you, you do to, it right, you have to just go in, make the dark, make the the, the room kind of dark. <laughs> Cause you, if you stare at stare at a vagina, it'll just it just shake, <laughs> like it'll twitch by itself. And you don't know, fucking way you eating that. Uh, you want eat a food, some food that move? Would you do that? <laughs> jello, you some, Jello. Nigga, you jello. shake Jello. You, <laughs> you did that. You did that on your own. Nobody want eat Jello anymore. <laughs> the fuck you from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Bill Cosby victim. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't jello. fuck with the Cosby. Why you don't know how to go down a girl? Who, that's a dope ass app, bro. Nobody need that shit. Everybody got that method. He shitted on a compliment. Everybody got that <laughs> method. Everybody got that. Oh boy, right here. What's his name? That's, that's, that's Tony. Tony. 
Tony two time. <laughs> What's your method when you grab going down and licking it? Like you got a certain method. You got a hundred percent. You got something. I know. Maybe I can learn from you. <laughs> That's the same dude that you was talking about at the golf course. Mustache. With the mustache. You said you got yeah. a sexy mustache. I remember you. <laughs> but that, it's the mustache. You probably take the mustache off. <laughs> Link that bitch and put it back. <laughs> but don't fuck first and put it on. He put that bitch on sideways. <laughs> he put it right here. He have a scar. A first scar. Mu- take his mustache off and watch the sideburn happen. <laughs> We got to do that LOL sticker contest. Uh-huh. Watch the sideburn <laughs> happen, yeah. baby. <laughs> What's the LOL sticker contest? We're giving away two tickets to the Art Life Tour with David Garibaldi. Yeah. Uh, Ace of Spades. David Garibaldi. David oh, yeah. Garibaldi. The, the painter? Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the 24th. Oh, sure. We're going to give them away today. Demetrius. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get to give them away. My um, pony. <laughs> Who are you going to give it to? Who I seen, we seen, uh, we got a faithful, uh, Follower man, she be rocking with us all the time, and I believe she even posted a picture of like her radio with hella these at work mm-hmm. stickers. Yeah, it so is. it's, it's oh, really? Sh- it, yeah, Sheree is tapped in with us right now. Well, what's the screen name? Um, I don't know how to pronounce P-R- that word. Yeah. Borica something. Yeah. Borica one. Borica. Borena. Black Rob. He said Tony Robbins is hilarious. Thank you, brother. He right there. Yeah, we hate Black Rob. Fuck Black Rob. Fuck you doing? Stop saying to me. This nigga dyslexic. <laughs> he's right here. Like he's stealing your rims right now. shy. <laughs> hey, he came in. He said, he, you know, he got a Jeep. I'm like telling you this nigga did. I'm telling you this nigga did. <laughs> he tell me. He tell me. I said, my Jeep is parked over that side. He said, no, that's not our parking lot. So I go I go get in the car to bring it around to him. I get in the car. This nigga in the car with me. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the Jeep. He opened the door. Can I roll? Well, nigga, yeah, man. Why are you right here? He jumped in the Jeep. He go, make a ride, make a ride. <laughs> Fucking down to, to the alley, make another ride. <laughs> I said, nigga, I'm too much of a good time. <laughs> it was like, his- a, like a first date. Something like a happy ass. He just got a prison or something. That sounds like Rob. That's he would funny. have shit like yes. that. You gotta talk- he I appreciate me- you, brother. He a mechanic. You got to talk to him. <laughs> are you? <laughs> yeah, he is. You fix it? Yeah. Well, kind of. Now he, he can't talk. Look, <laughs> he I can't. I shit, can't. Though. I can't relax with. He said your hair light out. His nigga went said, but I got one right here. <laughs> 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 he probably did too. Hey, you keep a headlight. <laughs> You keep headlights in your pocket, nigga. That nigga pull a nail out your tire with his feet, with his, <laughs> with his you ever teeth. Seen his car. He did. Uh, you see the inside of his car? You ain't no, pro- you ain't no problem with that. Ty. You just pull it out with your teeth. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm born to do this. I <laughs> got a mouthful of fangs. <laughs> He got every tool in the world in his car. Hey, that, I'm ask you something, man. I had it's this like debate. AutoZone in his shit. I had this debate with these hey. people, man. I asked him a question that went on for two hours. It was stupid. Who do you think is more popular globally? Michael Jordan or Madonna? Globally more popular. Madonna. MJ. Madonna. MJ. Of the shoes. Michael you say Madonna? Michael Jordan. Madonna. But why you stump? But why though? Why would you say that? Let's go around the table. What do you think? I would say Michael Jordan. <clears throat> no, why you say Michael Jack- Jordan though? Because of the shoes. <laughs> Cause little kids all around the world got his shoes and they. Motherfucker, no it's Madonna villages. Shoes. Madonna done sung in a in a country that don't wear fucking shoes, but sandals, <laughs> flip flops. Yeah, but they're like, you know, who is this chick coming in here? She gonna give me something to eat. Nobody, they pay. <laughs> she <laughs> gonna buy me. They ain't watching her on take TV. Me with her. Going, this Why? is Madonna. <laughs> they ain't watching her on TV going. This is Madonna coming. They don't know who the fuck. You know what made Michael Jackson happen with the shoes and shit is the Olympics. <laughs> and when Madonna started dealing with. With the royalty? When Madonna started adopting black kids. There you go. Well, all the white people do that. Yeah. <laughs> Are they up on eBay or some shit? What the fuck? They just... <laughs> why do you, think, you, why you think Madonna? Huh? Why do you think Madonna's more popular? Why? Oh, because she's like she's like Michael Jackson, the female version of Michael Jackson. That bitch is everywhere. You know, today she's still making more money than any uh, female artist today in concert. I believe, I believe that. How? She doing it. She's, cause she, she, does she go to shit you don't never think about? Yeah. Right. She go all over the world and Zimbabwe. fucking they don't even say can't, they can't even say her goddamn name half the time. Like Michael Jackson with the Burger Rush, they was faint going da 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 faint. She she do that shit, but it could be Jordan. Why do you think Jordan though? I just I, I like Michael Jordan more. Man, fuck you. Look, what about you? <laughs> because that because he that. got a crush on my mother. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got on Jordans right now. I ain't got on no Madonnas. <laughs> I got on Nikes. Dope Jays. You better hope you don't get in the in the. I uh, think it's the symbol. Game. The Madonna ain't got no symbol. If you do the Jumpman pose, you know who that is. Nah, but you, you might not though. In Zimbabwe, you're 21 years old, ain't you? Nah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just said the symbol. It was the symbol. <laughs> Madonna ain't got no symbol. She got titties. She don't need no symbol. Them titties is not where they. <laughs> Madonna been like been a virgin. Foreigners way before. That's true. Michael Jordan been dunking. <laughs> <laughs> she come from Michigan. We remember when she took oh, off. She from Michigan? Yeah, when she took off, we were like, "This young bitch crazy." <laughs> Bam! She the modern day Rihanna. <laughs> or, modern that's what, or you know, what Rihanna she, is. She ain't modern no more. Or you know, what, what she like was that. back then. That's what Rihanna was. <laughs> Shit. That's well, what let's talk was. about. Let's talk to uh, Mustafa. <laughs> Mustafa. Mustafa. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan and Madonna globally more popular. Who do you think it is? Um, he from Chicago. Hey, from Chicago. You from Con- the shop? <laughs> Kanye. Oh, Kanye. He was born he here. Was what do you think is more Chicago. popular? You think Jordan? Yeah, I think it's Jordan. If he got her, it's by edge. I think it's by edge. I don't think it's by a large margin, though. You said by, by the skin Jordan? of his hair? Nah, I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> or the draws. <laughs> the Haynes. The Haynes. <laughs> you can't say Michael Jackson. That's like Michael Jackson or Jesus or something like that. You got to go that deep. You can't. Yeah. Michael Jackson. I'm going to go with Michael Jackson. Now, Over Jesus? In their heyday. <laughs> in their heyday. In their heyday. You're in the fifth row. All access. Who'd you watch? Michael Jackson or Prince? Wow. In their heyday, you only had one Ooh. concert to go to between them two. One, you're in the fifth Michael row. Jackson. You got to throw Beyonce Michael in there. Michael. Michael Jackson. Wait a minute. You're always I, 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 I've been doing shit like media. this. <laughs> I'm, go, I'm going Just to see here. Oh. Go to your room. Go to that corner. <laughs> and think about your actions. <laughs> I'm going to see Prince. I'm going to see Michael Jackson I'm flat out. Yeah, yeah, Michael. In their head yeah, at, yeah, the, at the Michael. peak. I'm going to see Prince. <laughs> Why? I say I'm, I'm a bigger Prince fan. Oh, I know a couple of people. I like go that. see Stevie Wonder, but he wouldn't go see me. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, watch that nigga die. Watch him die in two weeks. Scoot up. Let me scoot up. Let me scoot up. And then, and then something will happen to him. And Lance will be the asshole. Damn. So, so Michael bad. Jackson or Prince? Fifth row, Michael, all access. Michael Jackson, I've already seen Prince. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Michael Jackson. Wait, 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 wait. You already seen Prince, so you say Michael Jackson? Yeah. That can't be the reason. What if you have, which one you think is the... Michael Jackson. Oh, absolutely. I'm a Michael Ab- Jackson fan. Absolutely. Uh, fifth, what is, fifth what is all Jackson? access? You get to, Michael. You get to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shake the hand. You, well, get, I don't know. you didn't say that. I probably you go to a backstage. Prince. But I want to meet Michael. I met Michael Jackson one time, but what? I didn't say nothing to him. I couldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was in L.A. It was like in fucking 2002 or some shit. 2000, I think it was 99 or some shit. I visited L.A. I'm doing some shows, just doing the circuit. Some girl, I'm, I'm with this chick I was kicking it with. Somebody just came and said, Michael Jackson in that bookstore. It's like a little memorabilia bookstore, a little tiny bookstore on, on Hollywood Boulevard. I said, hey, Michael Jackson. It was a Rolls Royce out there. And it was an Asian dude with an umbrella about a door. I said, ain't no fucking body gonna do that but Michael Jackson. <laughs> he, said, I just, he said, I just seen him walk in. So some, just some random person said that. I said, and so I walked in there. I went in the store and there was a big white dude in a suit on because his bodyguard or something. There was only three aisles. I went down, seen him down. He had no hat on, no nothing, but he had the surgical mask on. You know, he had, you know, goofy. Like the wildfires. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This thing always do that shit. I went in there and started looking like I'm looking for a book, and I got. <laughs> I'm on the same aisle, just like I'm trying to ease down. I got 12 feet, a good 10, 12 feet from him. And then he said, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I walked away. <laughs> I was that nervous. Because if it was Tito, fuck him, you know what I'm saying? Jermaine, but they didn't I didn't want out. <laughs> no, I seen those like specials with Michael where they kick everybody out of the whole Yeah, store. but I walked in and wandered in there, and I'm like, Oh, fuck. This motherfucker right here. And I didn't know what I was going to say. I didn't want to offend him. So I left. And the girl, the girl, I went outside. I said, Michael Jackson in the bookstore. She said, he is? The girl, somebody was right. She said, I'm going to see if he is sponsored one of my kids' shows. And I said, hey, Michael Jackson want to fuck with you and your kids? Because this is Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch stormed past me, got in the store. So I went behind her about a minute later. She's talking to this nigga face to face. I'm behind her, over her shoulder, still a deer. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't talk like a dumbass. What am I say? 
What are you going to say to Michael Jackson? Hello. <laughs> he said that to me. He said hello to me. You should have said, said, you should have said, come on. A <laughs> 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 Tell them where they can see you at, Tony. Tony T. Rob at Tony T. Roberts. <laughs> Follow me up across Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter, Tony T. Robert. Put the T in the middle. You're going to get an old white dude. I'm telling you. It's been done before. <laughs> so follow me, y'all. Let's, I got a lot of other shit coming out. Got the song. Got the music. Got the movie. Just wrote, finished the movie. Um, the sitcom. I got to write my own sitcom. How about some shows and stuff? If you're in Atlanta this weekend, I'm at the Fox Theater. I'm coming home for Thanksgiving. And then, man, Lance Woods, Tommy T's. We got the Thanksgiving. Uh, Oakland. I mean, Pleasanton. Pleasanton. Then we had Tommy T's. December and back at home in Rancho in December. So and then I got to go to the Philippines. Our son is in the draft, the PBA. Word up. So we got to go over there and then come back Christmas. And bam. Dope. Oh, <coughs> New Year's Eve, dude. I'm hosting a, a Latin Billboard Music Awards, like the after the after post show. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> can, we, can we can we pull up with some deep Eddie Vodka? No, only person to get in is, is the one with the hair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I got that. I got but we still got to shout them out. New Year's the old. Mexican yeah, Mermaid. We're going to be in Mexico. <laughs> the Mexican Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go home and get in your aquarium, goddamn it. You're going to dry out. You better get your ass out. <laughs> Carla. Yes, sir. Who can they find you? Oh, you're a regular here. Yes, yeah, right. always here. She's always, always here. Show, right? Make sure you keep up with us this Saturday. Yes. We're gonna be in Mexico. Mexico pre-production. Yes. Pre-production. Checking out the spot. Lance is in the movie. I'm in the movie. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. I'm in the movie. Hey. Hey, what did he tell me what the movie about? He said, "I don't know what it's about, but it's serious." No, nah, I was so I was reading today. It's about, it's about the uh, the robbery that happened at. Can I talk? I can tell this. Yeah. Yeah. The good okay. guys, Except the, the good guys, um, the hostage situation. It was right on oh. Florida Road, oh. right by the mall. What year was that? 91. 91. 91. And I think they said it's still the biggest one in, in U.S. history. Is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. As far as, as far as how many hostages? Yeah. yeah. The, hostage the whole thing. Yeah. I'm biggest. doing a documentary and Lance is doing it with me. Uh, we got to talk about that tomorrow. The mother- I'm doing a doc- documentary on the word motherfucker. Just find oh, out nice. where it come from. Oh. That's dope. Oh. Where First it come from. Who said, said the why best? Samuel L. Jackson? Not who said the best, but where it come from. The whole meaning behind it. It came yeah. out in 1866, actually. It started, but I think we're going to go period pieces with it. We're going to go further back. <laughs> so look out for that. Nice. Yes. Motherfucker. Yeah. I want to see y'all motherfucker. movie, though. I was reading the script today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're going to talk about it. We got to go right now because we got 20 seconds 20 left. 20 seconds left. But you got to shout out Deep Eddie, man. Shout Deep out to Eddie. Deep Eddie. Yeah. Deep Eddie's Vodka. Eat Deep yes. Eddie's Vodka. sponsoring us. Ain't nobody smiled since we've been in this bitch because they high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we out Try of here, some guys. deep Ronald next time. <laughs> yes. Life of Leisure Show. Monday. Life of Leisure Show. Tony Roberts, I'm out. <laughs>